First, I'll start recording. Then I'll let you see me. Hey, what's up? I don't use this camera a lot anymore, so I'm going to be frequently looking over here, thinking this is the camera I'm using, because it's become kind of my preferred one. But, you know, this is the one we'll be using right now. Hey, dirty dir. Thank you for the 10 months. Sup to you, my friend. All right, let's... Oh, of course, when I click into it, OBS wants to freak out. There we go. All right, cool. Let's get our game set up. It's been a second since we played Civ. All right, I know Simone Bolivar. Jay Odinson, seven months. You support that wug thug chillaturism. Thank you. Yeah, this is going to be a little low energy for me, but you know, that can change. Stuff could get real exciting here and uh, might, might get me back up and running. Do we want Apocalypse? Like, I feel like I have just started like always defaulting Barbarian Clan, Secret Societies, Heroes and Legends, and Monopolies. I think those four, the game is just better with those on, like period. Barbarians can maybe, maybe be argued with me. Sometimes it's annoying. But I think for the most part, I like it. Um, but mm, chill and apocalypse don't mesh. That's true. That will not be very chill. <laughs> the, wor the world ending is not a very chill thing. Uh, let's see. What do we want to do here? Like, are we wanting... Navy is really not going to be a big focus of mine. So we could go for one of the maps that really doesn't have a lot of water we want we could just go somewhere on actual earth we could have our true start location on a huge earth but I don't want to have to conquer that many people great Kirby track uh, hmm I'm hesitant on Pangea just because I, I think that maps kind of boring Mix up tech, says Tyrosine. Mm, mm. I don't know if that's chill. That might be anti-chill for me. I could also see Inland Sea. Have I already done a game on here with Inland Sea? I feel like I did that somewhat recently, but it's a map I hardly ever choose. I don't want to do Highlands, even though we've got the additional movement, so maybe we could make use of it. But a lot of mountains bugs me. Small continents? So the problem with small continents is then we'd probably all be like sequestered or not on our own. Yeah, sequestered on our own continents. And if I'm going to be doing military, which is definitely what I want to do if I'm being uh, Grand Columbia, that's going to involve a lot of Navy that I really don't have a lot of good stuff for, as far as I remember. I feel like I'm a, I feel like I'm a land sieve. Any map that has east-west edges is always weird to me. I agree, rogue guy. I, I kind of wish they would tell you that. Because, like, some of these, I think they do have, like, an east-west barrier. Uh, which, you know, they probably should with how the map is laid out. But I would like to know going in. Yeah, Pangea will be, like, too easy to steamroll. That's kind of what I want to, like, like, well, not even so much too easy. Because it's been a second since I've played. So I might actually have some trouble here. Like, maybe Terra. But then I feel like that's just kind of smaller Pangea. Because my goal is going to be kill them before they get off the main continent. Um, man, did not expect me to be hemming and hawing on this so much. So you know what? We're just going to say F it, and we're going to have I ever done wetlands? What is this? A continents map? Ah, it's just a wet continent. All right, you know what? We'll live with it. We'll do a small continents. If we're lucky, we'll have like our own continent. Well, actually no, if we're lucky, we'll be surrounded by people <laughs> and we'll eat them and then chase off the other continents at the end of the game with aircraft carriers and stuff. Uh, all right. This song seems considerably louder than the last one. Let me know if it's a problem. Also I'm going to hide that, there we go. All right, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. let's go at least standard. We don't have to do small. <laughs> Since we've got barbarian clans on, I'm gonna 
take City States down to about four. We're going to lower the sea level just because we don't really want to deal with water that much. Forgot how crazy this song goes. I don't think I want to adjust the leader pool or the city states. That all. I don't know. Uh, uh, that's stuff I understand why you would use it, but I feel like. I wish there was better ways to, like, kind of have a quick list or customization to it. As far as I remember, there's no way you can, like, save loadouts on that without just saving the whole created game. Uh, and I think we'll keep just everything else about the same. How's that sound to you guys? Island place usually works well for me, and I tend to play land military, so it says Xenarthus. What's the difference between island plates and small continents? I honestly don't remember. Not that I'm saying we're switching, I'm just curious. Few medium land masses and some smaller islands versus islands ranging in size from large to small. Yeah. We'll keep it. Alright. Uh, I think we're going to go with that. Bada bing. Oh, less tendency to just get two continents. I see. I know I said this would be a chill stream, but this Golden Sun boss music. Not very chill, but I still dig it. Oh, I saw people saying shuffle for the map. You know what? I should have maybe done that. If this is an awful, awful start, maybe I'll go back in and do that. Mainly use inland sea for massive tundras. Huh. But instead you chose to become the liberator. Hardships never dissuaded you. So hold fast to your ideas. His hair looks kind of weird to me. Lead your republic into a new age of prosperity. Actually, his eyebrows kind of have it too. Ha! Huh. Hey, whoa! That's a lot of fish right there. Uh, not a fan of not starting on this river somewhere, so we'll probably go here because I don't want to spend too many turns looking. We could do a turn three start. Start on one of these hills. Wait, is this... This looks like a southern tundra to me. Are we on the southern tip of the map? We are. Okay. So we're going to be mostly expanding east and west if south is not looking good. This is a whole, a whole lot of fish, though. Uh, I think we're just gonna go here, though. Because there's nowhere I can really... Okay, if we do... If you are our city center... I could do a little bit of... We get this to work. That seems like it could be... Got that. Giving us a boost. Would that be worth it? Hmm. We could get... Let's see, would this work? I'm always curious about... I, I feel like I'm never quite sure on dams. Okay, but if we've got that, we could put industrial zone on either side. And that would get real good real fast. We're going to be military, so we're going to want a encampment somewhere also. Not to mention a trade... Uh, what do you call it? Commercial district. That's the word I'm looking for. That's right, we have extra movement! I could actually get him over here or over here if I wanted. We could even start on a resource, which might actually be the real move.
<laughs> what to do, what to do. I do kind of like just getting incense off the bat. That would be nice. I think that is what we're gonna do. So let's get rid of this little plan here. This might mess some things up, but maybe not. All right, you can also go. And uh, yeah, as an Arthas, you do get extra faith from incense. It's a faithful, all faithful. And then we could probably put you here. Okay, I'm starting to like this a bit more. Or wait, no, not that. You here. You here. I love this song. And then maybe... You here after all. Maybe a little bit of this. How far away is that? That that would be the end of the city. And here. No. It's gonna require a big population, but you know, we could maybe eventually like this is all long term, mind you. Also, there might be like way better places for the science place over here, which would change a lot of this. No harbor plans. We should have a harbor eventually. The only harbor we would be able to get in would be here. So I guess we could... Actually, hold on. What if instead... So I was thinking of putting the commercial zone here specifically to get a harbor boost. But what if we kind of... Would a harbor in this city be good? We're, we'll be so far away from the coast. But we do want to be producing ships eventually. You know what? We're going to play it by ear. Uh, I definitely like this kind of layout for this. The encampment can definitely be shifted, as can the, the science. But I feel like this kind of starting, and then we'll fill in with our uh, industrial zone later. I just wanna get rolling. Thank you, Dresden Nova, for the five months uh, subbing. Five months and I'm finally not watching the archives on youtube.com slash masterwoggles. Why am I advertising free on your own stream? Hell if I know. Hey, thanks, man. I appreciate it. And you're doing it because I don't do it enough myself. Check out my stuff on YouTube. And if you're watching this on YouTube, leave a comment and uh, check it out on Twitch sometime. In other words, no matter where you're watching me, I'm going to ask you to watch me the other, in the other place. Let's get our scout rolling. Get this moving. Alright, lots of tundi. Which, maybe. I mean, I still definitely want to do this little maneuver here. Maybe put the... Uh, I'm starting to lean more putting it here. Um, and maybe try and fill up these tundra spots with our districts, because they're just going to be bad yields. <gasps> A village? This song is giving me too much stress energy. We need to be chill here. This song's just too quiet. I can barely hear it. I'm going to save that village for my scout. Get him some early XP. Ooh, here we go. Let's get this party started. Yoink. Hey, we know how to irrigate now. That's very irrigating. <laughs> I made a funny. Wolfhorn, I am a YouTuber, and maybe I've heard of Team Four Star. Sounds pretty weak and lame. 
Uh, monument. Because we'll probably eventually want a hero. Uh, I'm gonna have to step over here so I have a little bit of better terrain in case they start summoning. Hey! We like to see it. Uh, also watch Dinner Time Gaming and follow Twitter and subscribe to my only grants. That's right. There's so much you could do for little old me. Only grants. Not actually here. Coming someday. Maybe. Never. Uh, it really looks like this is the end of the land, so I'm not going to bother looking over there. Curious as I am. Mm, oof. We'd still get hurt very badly there. We might have to wait. At least until he's fully healed or Code of Laws is done. Maybe maybe I should be doing... You know what? If I'm doing a military run, I should probably be doing three slingers, not a monument. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Let's switch. There won't be much down here, but there could be tribal villages, which I love to get early. Oh, I didn't even notice the horses. Good catch there, Tyrosine. Yes, those will be helpful. And that ensures that we are definitely not putting an industrial zone there, so it has to go here now. Unless we did something weird like put our aqueduct there and this over there, but I don't see why we would do that. Uh, Continue on the coast or keep going e-west. E-west. The electronic quest. All right, another encampment with boats. So they probably won't be sending very many land units my way. So I don't think we have to worry about them too much. And we can use them to probably buy boats, I'm assuming. Yeah, buy reams. Donkey Kong 64, how are your soundtrack so good? Uh, you know what? F it. Let's check out what's on what's down here. Darn it! If I heard that villager jingle, I would have known it was worth it. <gasps> we already have a oh, cause we got that relic. Okay, okay, okay. Unexpected boon here. No. Uh, what should I call it? Thing for the uh, free settler. So what do we go with? We'll probably... It's looking like we're going to have some pastures here. But we could also just get the strategic resource buff. So I was thinking of doing culture for pastures. But there really actually aren't that many. And I'm assuming somewhere in here is going to be some like iron. Stuff like that. The tundra one. But that would force us to make holy sites and I don't think we're going to be making those because we don't want a religion. And while God of War does sound like something we would want if we're going military, God of War I think actually kind of sucks. Because again, it requires a holy site and except for specific situations, I think it is a bad move to go for a religion in a military game. So I think I'm going to do the strategic resources one. We could also get a free builder, which would be pretty nice. But right now, we don't even have the tiles that have the horses on them, and we don't know how to mine yet. So I really wouldn't have any improvements I could make other than getting that wheat, which we've already got the irrigation bonus, so we don't really need. So yeah, I think the uh, strategic resource one is the way to go. Which way? Oh, we've already got Craftsman. Not if you pick up Crusading. Well, yeah, that's what I, that when I said, except for in certain cases. Crusading is great, but that means you are gunning for a religion, which requires a lot of early game investment. Or just uh, blind luck. Uh, let's just check it out just to be sure. <laughs> I could smell it. I knew it was there. Uh, we'll probably be going vampires this game. I was considering... I know I was just poo-pooing a religion, but I was considering the idea of going Void Singers just for a crazy faith boost. 
so that when we eventually build the government plaza building that lets you purchase units with faith, we would just have a giant, endless faith economy, so we could be so we could be buying units all the time. But I don't think I want to overrun them with numbers, so I don't think I'm gonna run that way. Instead, I would rather have a couple uh, super powerful vampires running around. But in the meantime. We don't really have much. I mean, we'll eventually be able to get some chops over here. But will that be worth... What's his name? Magnus? Versus Bengala being able to get us just some passive science and culture. Well, let's open with Bengala. Also, I need to remember, I've got my Z shortcut. I don't need to be hitting that button every time. I have a feeling because that's a hill that will end my movement there. So we're going to come over here. We're going to give ourselves the forest movement. Oh, that's right. I forgot our other cool power as the sieve. We can get our update upgrades and not end our turn. Oh, that's nice. That's great. I completely forgot that's a thing they do. I forgot I love this song. Medieval, such a cool game. I never finished that uh, remake that came out on PS4. Because, well, I think it's a cool game. I think a lot of the levels are kind of bad. We're not growing here at all. What's up with that? We need to get some food tiles working. Give me that. Yeah, we don't have the money to... I don't want to spend it on these tiles yet. Let's... All right, here we go. Snowball starts here. We've already got passive faith, so we don't need that. Our gold economy is fine. Just going to start... Okay, so the plan's going to be just kind of like farming these for, for resources. Oh, perhaps our first victim. Japan! Oops, didn't mean to bump the mic there. Nice to meet you, Ho Ho Hojo. Uh, hey, you know what? I'd love to sample your hospitality. Oh, they're right there. Oh, very nearby friends. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Hmm. Will we discover a second continent over here, you think? Oh, your delegation is most welcome, sir. I'll be sending you one shortly. I forgot. We're gonna play friendly until we're not friendly no more. We'll never make an alliance and we'll never be like true friends, you know. Let's get you over heading that way. Let's scope them out a little bit. See what we're working with. Uh let me make a second slinger. Let's just get ready to swarm poor little Japan. Start healing, but also get us 50 free gold. Yeah, gold pickups. Ooh, they actually have a really good defensive position here because we're going to have to funnel in here first. I mean, I guess we could come around this way too, but that river's going to make it annoying. Actually, this whole area kind of sucks. Good thing we got extra movement, so we'll be able to walk through a lot of this. We need to start, okay. I think I think I would like to get a second city here. And I want to get it before he gets it there. So we're going to kind of station this scout here to just keep an eye out for settlers. Because he's probably not going to settle down, down here. So he's going to be looking to settle over here. And if he sends the settler alone, we'll just declare war and steal it and make it ours. And if he sends it guarded, uh, we'll just try to position this uh, scout so he can't move very well. Do we want to go ahead and buy a Byream so we can start working towards the boost for uh, the harbor? Or we could just get a Barbarian Horseman, which might be better. bum 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 ba da bum bum move you over there so that you can get closer 
Actually, I'll put you over here. So you can swoop in and smack him when you get the chance. Uh, I don't like the Barbarian Horseman unit. If this was a warrior or a spearman or archer, no question. But I feel like the Barbarian Horseman units kind of suck. They're just worse scouts until they eventually get to upgrade into, what is it? The, like, Cuirassier or something? It's, like, way too late for them to upgrade. When you find yourself in a hole, quit digging. Yeah, uh, th thank you, Dua Scratch. Bar barb Horsemen are traps because they can't be upgraded through the ages. Only get Horsemen from Barb Camps if they're normal Horsemen. Okay. That's that's what my gut was telling me, but I was like, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. It's good to know I'm not. It's good to know I was right all along, because I'm so smart. All right. Sorry, no passage through this way, Kyoto. All right, well, if we're not buying from him, and I kind of don't know, actually, just maybe the visibility on a buy ream would be good. Because we could just kind of scope out the map a little bit faster. Although I don't really want to be meeting other players right now, because I'm going to be making Japan very angry. And uh, the less I can make the legend of my ill deeds, the better. Oh, jeez. Actually, what? You know what? I should have been saving my money and bought a builder instead. Oh, well. I hope you can't kill my warrior that one there. So I want you to live, so run away! Oh, he's already got a second city up here. Huh. Okay. I really thought we'd be fighting for something else. Cool beans. Uh, do we want to keep farming this or just kill it now? Because now that we have a person to kill, I don't want to be spending time dealing with this. So I think we're just going to eat it. Yes! We don't have the points for him yet, but we will get vampires soon. Back to work on that monument. Have you heard of the critically acclaimed MMORPG Final Fantasy XIV with a free trial all the way up to Heavensward? I bought that game at some point when you still had to pay for it. So, yes, I've heard of it. Uh, I liked it, but not enough to keep playing it, I guess. So, I don't know. Well, let's at least see his other city. Maybe loop back around here. Although, no, that mountain wall cuts us off there, so I'm going to have to come back this way. Boy, I hope that wasn't a stupid move, moving my scout in there, and there's, like, a secret settler coming this way. That'd be a bummer. Then again, it's just another city we'd have to eventually kill. Which will happen. Now, see, Japan should have been here, because it kind of looks like them. IRL. <gasps> Always so excited for tribal villages, even if I can't reach them yet. Let's run back here. Make sure we can see what's going on. Uh, we, we outstrength them military-wise. Not that that really surprises me. Uh, uh, Dax the King just recently got this game, and man, after getting used to the way culture works in Civ Five, I am struggling. I... I agree and believe you, but it's been so long since I played Civ Five. I honestly kind of forget how different they are. I I kind of want to pull Civ Five out at some point, just to kind of go back and look at it again, because I I really forget it. But it was my first love when it came to Civ, so I'm curious what got me roped into this franchise so hard. Thanks, Real Stealth Gamer, for that year of subbing. Uh, or actually, I guess, thank you, probably not a mayor, for the year of subbing that they are uh, enjoying. But thanks all the same. I was used to how Civ IV Warlords, uh, uh, Warlords was, and I had a hard time figuring anything out. I've only wow. played five and six. I'm going to tell everyone about this. I'm 
Dark Ryan, thank you for that sub, buddy. Take my money, you beautiful, talented Pokemon master. My Pokemon days... I'm not going to say they're behind me, but I feel like the internet has opened my eyes to people who know so much more about Pokemon than I do. That my, my, I feel like my mastership has been called into question. And I might, I might never be a pure Pokemon master ever again. It just don't seem right. How do I donate or subscribe using iTunes? I have four hundred dollar credit. And I don't know uh, how how to make it. That I don't know, uh, Kyle. Not sure if there is a Twitch iTunes thing. This is probably gonna kill this guy. So yeah, you know what? We'll wait over here. That's right I do. And this sun is gonna come down on you very hard, Japan. They must feel happy. Let's get to archery. Ah, damn it, they did take it. How did he... Game? Well, you know, maybe the... No, that wouldn't work. He wouldn't have had... I'm calling hacks here. Because he moved in, he had to have moved in to attack the unit. Because the Barbarian would have acted after him. And then he would have had to have waited a turn. He can't just consume a thing in one turn. That takes a whole nother turn, right? Because the attack would have ended his turn. He couldn't, he couldn't claim the Barbarian encampment after that, right? I don't know. I don't like it when the game cheats. Let's keep this, let's keep eyes on this neighborhood. We're gonna wanna build a, what do you call it, a settler. I don't think we get Arthur. I never really use him. Gonna give this one more turn and I'm gonna mm, is it worth trying to switch off of it probably not honestly yeah that might be a trap kill that warrior first he's too powerful to be left alive he is a cheater Hey, thank you, Harlack, for the Prime sub. Welcome, my dude. Hope you're enjoying yourself. I see your... your slinger man. Uh, I wish I could heal you, but we need another tile, and I'm not going to spend money on it. But I don't want you to die, so I'm scared to have you explore. Uh, let's just scope out here. Kind of wait and look for any activity. Might have a couple turns where we're just kind of sitting and waiting. Which I don't like. But we don't get much of a choice. out there, Bodie buddy. We can have him up there just to watch for barbarians. How expensive are builders? 
Whew. May the forces of evil become confused. We're definitely gonna need them soon, though. Yeah, buying this was was a mistake. That's gonna be that's gonna be what I call my first very bad play of this game. We might eventually find out that my city placement was the actual first, but that's where I'm leaning right now. Um, do we want to do this yet? Yes. Why wouldn't we? Would it be smarter to get science first or writing or whatever? The hey. Hey, hey. Now those two. That might be the grab. In fact, I think that is going to be it. We're going to finish the settler and then we're going to get the twins. So we can build our army very quickly. Tacitus, did I manage to get my car all fixed? Yes. Thank you very much for asking, but that is that is now fine luckily. Okay, how spread out do we make our city? Do we want to put one here and then one here? That would require two settlers just to make it over there. But I don't want to just see all this land go to waste, so I think that is what we're going to do. Kyle Surreal, it can't stay long. Uh, going to ask again. I'm really sorry if this is annoying, but is there a way to send you a code on maybe Twitter or something? Nothing bad or suspicious about it. Uh, you can block me if you want, which I know everyone says is not suspicious. Uh, I mean, for for what? For like an iTunes gift thing? I thought I saw someone saying that like there was some way to get an iPhone, like a, a token if you're watching on an iPhone or something. Uh, cause honestly, it's just I I I won't really have a use for it. Cause I don't really use iTunes at all. But I I appreciate it. But you don't have to worry about it. Hey. Now that we got that there, we probably don't need to keep as close an eye on here. Uh, six people, is that gonna happen? Not for a while. Do we need mysticism? Is that a required one? No, that's just part of the religion tree. And if we don't go that route, we never really need it. So, we should just do this much as I don't want to. Kind of wondering if I should have put this on the other side of the river so I could have made a bridge and made it easier to move across earlier. But I don't think it's a big deal. I don't remember exactly where this, I'm pretty sure it's a Donkey Kong 64 song came from, or like where it is in the game, but I kind of like it. A, and twins. Let's let them go down there. Kind of just get a little lay of the land. Ooh, we got like a long snaky continent, which is kind of fun. I was thinking Without of maybe going for the granary, but I don't think it's worth it. Oh, I just noticed there's a thing there. So you know what? Scout, you can start heading this way. And really, warrior, you should be heading this way. Why am I exploring with you? That's the boat's job. Ooh, please don't shoot me. Thoughts on Age of Empires? It's not, uh, I actually have never played it, so I don't really have any thoughts. I've heard its name a lot of times. I'm sure it's pretty cool. Bonus sounds nice.
Alright, once we get kind of everyone in position, we might just launch right into war. Actually, wait, do we have... Yeah, we've got archery now, so I should be upgrading you. We won't have the money to upgrade both of them, but we can at least get one up there. Probably the leveled one. coming from the south and just swoop on up. Do they have a third city or do they just buy tiles up here? We'll know soon enough. What's our special thing again? It's got to do with like putting it between things, right? Uh, the Hacienda. Plus two gold, plus one production, and half a house. Uh, plus food for every two adjacent plantations. Uh, plantations and haciendas receive one production for every two adjacent haciendas. So just plantations? I thought it was also... Uh, pastures. I guess not. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, Kyle, you wish I was in the in the Baldur's Gate playthrough. I've never played any of those games actually, but it sounds like everyone's having a pretty good time with it. So happy they're enjoying it. Slowly sneak them in there. All these tribal villages we're gonna have to hopefully get later. want to swing you in there just to fight it solo but I will get you awful close but we won't be right on their borders because I don't want them to start getting aggressive Taco the Mario game is from the music what are you talking about uh Grand Columbia is part of Great Italia and we know that this is their national anthem it gets you a lots of spaghetti There's a little area up here. A uh, D's art. Mm -hmm. Let's see. No. Nothing up there yet. I'm also interested in creating. See a wonder up here. What's the one that gives science and faith to surrounding me? Is that that one mountain? Like flat top mountain? It was a fantastic landscape. Well, not the mountain I meant, but it is a flat top mountain, so uh, I was right! <laughs> Mount Ra Raima. Once this warrior is kind of in position, I think we'll go. Actually, you know what? Nah, I think I think we're gonna oh, sneeze. <laughs> we're gonna sneeze, and then we'll get this archer back in position, and I think we're gonna press it. I think I've given them enough time to live. Soon, the glorious nation of Japan will be no more. Bravery is out of date. No one's brave anymore, sorry. Let's get production. We want to build our third archer, maybe? We're not really fighting barbarians anymore, so we don't need this. I could double XP for the one guy who's running over there, but I don't think that's worth it. 
Especially because I don't know how much longer these are going to take. Yeah, I think their fastest one's going to be nine. There's no way we're getting our civilization to six too quick. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, they've got their borders closed off, huh? Well, aren't we hoity-toity? The flood! How much? Damn it! Of course it would hit the guy I'm running in there to do a fight. All right, back off. But you keep coming in. We'll we'll get him still. You just keep waiting until you can evolve. Another pastor. Pastor. Why am I saying that so weird today? I keep wanting to say, like, you know, a guy who preaches at a church, a pastor. But it's pasture. Out to pasture. I don't want to be like, past year. It's just weird. Pature. Uh, what... I, I know Pito is one of the ant guardians in Hunter Hunter, but I feel like there's a, I want to say like a Disney or Don Bluth movie that has like a, a Patu, and I can't remember what that is. Oh, it's Patu. That's, is that Rockadoodle? Is that the dog's name? Is the dog Patu? That might be what I'm thinking. Yeah, I mean Louis Pasteur. That's who I'm thinking. Okay, the dog is Patu. All right, that's that might be what I'm thinking about. All right, those are three all like these two tiles are very good. This tile's all right. Solid improvements here, all around. Good job, fam. All right, once you are in shooting range, well, actually, we're probably just going to invade them. So, I guess there will be no shooting range for you on your first turn in there. Oh, this is a good going to war theme. Oh, they've got a barbarian in there too. <laughs> Suckers. Oh, did we get iron in our city? Didn't even notice. Damn, nothing. That's kind of disappointing. I mean, I didn't want it to mess up my planned out placements uh, over here, but it's still kind of sad. Oh, is this like wind effect in this song? What is this? Uh, should we? Running him down there isn't going to do us any good because that's just leading into a barbarian camp that will kill him. We can take a peep down here just to make sure, one, there's no barbarians, and two, there aren't any villages, but I might actually pull this guy all the way back over here. Oh, it's about to get funky in here. Wow, I didn't realize how funky. Welcome, Street 4 Star! Oh my gosh, it's a raid! Thank you. Welcome everybody. Hope you were having fun. I'm seeing objection and hold it. I'm guessing this was a uh, Quinn playing some Phoenix Wright today. I haven't played the Ace Attorney Chronicles. Is that what it's called? Uh, I, I haven't played it yet, but it seems like it's pretty cool. We're getting ready to go to war. We're Grand Columbia, and we happen to be neighbors with Japan, and that's very unfortunate for them. And their capital. While it's kind of frustrating to get to because of this mountain pass. Actually, ugh, do we wait? No. I was thinking about waiting until buy until we could buy a trade route and then sending a trade route to them to get a road there. But I'm not going to wait for that. We're going to kill them. Probably starting next turn or two. Hey! Give me that XP, baby! What's this wonder called again? The Absooner Hollow. Anyone live near the Absooner Hollow? Anyone seen it IRL? Do we start this now? They've got like 
it seems like no one near us. Let's do it. Hearing him say it, I don't think I ever pieced together Kamikaze being Divine Wind. But that... Now that makes a lot more sense. But I've heard of, like, Kamikaze pilots and stuff. I never thought about, like, the actual meaning of the words. Also, yeah, this guy's got the Triforce, so we gotta be ready. But with my very rudimentary element or er, anime knowledge of the Japanese language, I know Kami. I know Kaze. I have never thought about the word Kamikaze as, as, as like two words. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to shoot it. Oh well. What if we got a free scout out of this? Nah, I want to take the city first. Uh, run away! Any tribal villages out here? Any single tribal villages looking to hook up with a little scout tonight? That's right, Jupiter. We're here to take the Triforce. I kind of don't want to kill the city with him because the cities can give you a lot of XP. So this might be a bum move, but I'm going to move my units in first and hope we can get some XP out of this. Oh, this city has coastal tiles. I don't even know what I was thinking. I could have been healing this guy the whole time. No tribal villages here. We don't have any iron to make this work. We could get a trade route soon. Are we gonna want faith? I mean, we do still need to get astrology for other stuff. We could get irrigation to start working this, but really, might not be necessary. Also, once this is done, I might get, what's his name, Maui? Because I'm pretty sure I've unlocked the ability to try and get him uh, to make more resources that you can put plantations on because our haciendas get boosts from those and vice versa. Our haciendas boost them. None of these jump out to me as like something we really need right now and will be affecting us in the immediate. Horseback riding would be good. What are we missing for that? Or can we just get that now? We can just get that now. Let's just do that. Can't stop thinking about Moana whenever you recruit Maui. That's fair. I haven't seen that movie since I watched it in theaters and like, I liked it. I'm the kind of guy who frequently likes Disney movies. They're, they're usually some of my favorites. But I don't know. It just didn't stick with me. Like, I don't think it was bad at all. I didn't have any problems with it. It was just like, it felt unremarkable. Uh, do I send this third guy over there? We might be covered over there. And I kind of just want to protect these borders because I know there's, I know there's barbarians about. Gonna maybe do a quick check down here for a tribal village. Uh, we should probably build an encampment soon, but I don't know where I want it to go. I guess we could put it here just to give this another tile surrounding it. Because it can't be immediately around the city, which I always thought was weird. I kind of don't like that, but I guess the encampment's supposed to give you, like, another base away from your base. And it would be really annoying trying to fight a city. Although, I guess you can have an encampment, like, I don't know. I, I guess if an encampment could be right next to a city, you'd always be able to shoot attackers with it, and that would suck. Like, for the other people. Mm -hmm. Let's build 
trade unit. Early Empire, you know it. I was hoping I'd be able to move this guy another thing so I could shoot that and then insta-take him with this, but we'll do it this way. You just stand here and block. Great track. Ending theme to Mega Man X. One of probably my favorite games of all time. The Mega Man X games are kind of in my mind as like the perfect action games or like platformers. And, you know, those kinds of games. The Mega Man games. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and... I was thinking of getting the vampires, but we don't need them right now. Right now, what we could use more is loyalty. Power and respect. T Tony Montoya. I've never seen Scarface. I just finished Sopranos this week. Holy shit. I've finally seen one of the greatest TV shows of all time, and I can tell you, I I agree with that assessment. One of the best TV shows, period. Definitely worth a watch. I don't feel like we need another scout. Well, you know what? We're going to get one anyway, I guess. Oh, what? Right, well, fine. Real stealth gamer, you hear the ending of Sopranos is terrible, though. Everyone who said that is stupid. I'm gonna go ahead on record and say that. It is a great ending. Builds to it perfectly. People were just upset because they wanted it to be something the show was clearly not. Hey. Trade places. You come over here. There we go. And now... Ba -ba! The assault on Osaka. Uh, let Kyoto start building a road to the rest of our civilization. There they are. Knew you had to be here somewhere. All right, sell ships. Good to know. Yes, thank you, Tyrosine Terror. How I Met Your Mother, I believe, had a terrible ending. That was a show that I feel like lied to its audience, and its oh, its ending was very insincere feeling. Uh, do we want another builder? Yes, because we're going to want to send him over to Kyoto eventually. Given the newfound liking you have for Sopranos, do you have any intent to watch the Many Saints of Newark, that new Sop Sopranos prequel movie? Yes, I will definitely at the very least watch it. Um, I'm, I won't lie, I'm a little concerned for it because I think prequels are a hard thing to pull off uh, and be satisfying, but I wish them the best and if anyone could do it, I would believe in the show creator, David Chase. And you guys were hiding another barbarian encampment out here for me. You're too kind. I was hoping to. Okay. 
<laughs> am I going to play the highly rated video game? Now that is a question for another day. But maybe. Who knows what the future holds? Could be some gabagool. Oh, we got a golden age? I wasn't even paying attention. Holy cow! I figured we were just getting a normal age out of there. Well, hell yeah. Monumentality, please. Now I don't need to build this builder, but I will. But I'll go ahead and... Oh, we've already got a unit in there. Okay. I see what you're doing, game. Do I want to just grab a settler real quick? Bridge this gap? Not yet. Oh, these poor guys were getting overrun by. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ooh, tie. And let me heal for a second. These guys were getting attacked by barbs as we were on our way in here. Hey, that's a pretty nice amount of turns there, <laughs> Arthur. Clinching his fist, if you know what I mean. If you know what I mean. Alright, uh. Wait, can I not? Oh, because we don't have the holy site technology, so I can't repair their holy site yet. That's kind of funny. I didn't know that was a thing. Uh, then what are we going to make here? Usually my first move is repairing what I've destroyed. Also, is this mine already operational? It is. I didn't pillage it. Okay, I thought I did. This seems like it'll probably be a good campus. Uh, I guess we'll go for the granary because we really don't have housing here, do we? Yeah. Oh, I couldn't repair it there. Oops. Oh, wait, was I looking? Yes, this is this town. I see. My mistake. Well, this is still what I want to do. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I like it. Um, yeah, you come in here. You start heading up here to help with this. You, what do you do? I can just add combat strength to a unit. That's pretty cool, but we'll just have you here to help our units. Hello. Why, hello there. I love that clip of Obi-Wan. There's a, I've been watching this YouTuber, JMad. Uh, he makes Sea of Thieves content, and he uses a lot of the same meme sound effects over and over, but I kind of dig it. And one of them is that. Back over the past, we are on a ranch, Dark Riding. Check it out. Look, you're hearing these horses sing to you. Or, you know, that's the vibe you're feeling. You're living on these horse ranches, which also give us a nice little... They got, they got that good old Colombian work, Grand Colombian work ethic, and they're bringing in some faith. Because they believe in their horses. I haven't met any city-states yet. I know I cranked their numbers down, but I thought we'd at least bump into one. I feel like I normally do. Is this where we put the encampment? Should definitely have an encampment somewhere. Maybe I'll put it up here. We can shoot off ships as they pass by. So I think we'll eventually have a canal come through here. Or here. Either of these places. Or maybe we'll just build a city here. And have a nice... Yeah, actually. Maybe that's what we'll do. We'll have a city right here. Is that four tiles away? I think we can do that. 
Yeah. So then we don't really need a canal, because we'll be able to pass through it like that. Now we can kind of split traveling around this continent with our ships, at least. Should that be something we need to do, which I guess there really won't be anything down here for us to get. But hey, something to do in the future. Maybe. Right, and we can... Oops. Get a builder over there. Also, should probably start building a campus somewhere. our science we should start growing at some point so I think we'll do it here so we're getting a boost from this Eh, thinking about it I should have probably done the encampment oh well you come this way level up fire if you stand here Oh, you were just about to get your religion, too. I'm sorry. Well, it's mine now. Oh, shoot. We had an upgrade and I didn't use it. Mine, mine, mine for the taking. Go. Vap Myers now in town. We we'll want to send them to a nearby. Actually, if we can run them over here and just have them start killing uh, barbarians and getting boosts from that would be good. We might also bring them down here eventually. Uh, let's run for that. Hopefully, we can get there before anyone else. Also, Skyward Sword seems to be the worst Zelda game. I've never played it. My brother said he liked it, I think. But I ain't never played it myself. Darn, I thought you'd be able to heal more here. But you came in and ruined the day. So get shot. Can you... If we swap places, could you hit him? Yes. Cool. Wait, why did we get something for killing just a horse knight? Whatever. I won't... I won't question free era score. Oh, a great win's first, or a general's, yeah, a great general's first win. I see. Forgot that. Gives you error score. Uh, we can't do, we still don't have irrigation, so I think we're just gonna get a bunch of mines, because we want all the production we can get in this city. A sacrificial scout. Just want someone to look out here and see what they're doing. We got Yoshi in the house, y'all. Maybe a farm triangle here.
That'll be a good city. We gotta get a settler moving up that way. We're gonna be putting something on there, so I don't know if I wanna put mine on there quite yet. Could run up here and chop this and maybe get something out of it. This... No, this must belong to Pagoda. We could give this... Actually, you know what? That might be the better move. Swap this to this city so it gets a productive tile. So we can build that faster. Because I don't... We don't have the technology that lets us build lumber mills yet, right? Yeah, no. We would still need wheel and a bunch of stuff. Farm triangle? Yeah. We're missing too many technologies. I'm not used to having builders with charges that we can't spend. A man on a horse is spiritually as well as Welcome to Yoshi's Island. Excellent game. Fun time for all. We need to heal before we challenge this fight. It says major victory, but I've lost those before with both units' health being all red. So we're going to heal one more turn. And you move here. You move here and start healing. I don't know why I moved you so early. Do I have you shoot at this boat just to scare it? No, I want you getting closer to the action too. Free faith, don't mind if I do. And I dropped that note there. Mine it up. Fishing. Do we learn how to fish so we can get these two fishing boats? Make this city a little useful? I think that might be... Because we could get a plantation with this up, but I don't think that's really super pertinent right now. And we could maybe try and repair this holy site so we could be generating more out of Kyoto, but... I want to fish! Fresh fish. Thank you. Skyward just feels like Alpha Breath of the Wild. I think I've also heard that. I feel like I have heard there's a lot of features that people love in Breath of the Wild. That got their start in Skyward Sword. Yo, Sir Plumpy. Hope you're doing well. Oh, you want to make peace, you precious, precious babe. I mean, you giving me six gold a turn just to let you live for a little bit while I bolster my forces and kill you later. And also probably make money off of my incense from you. It might actually be in my best interest to let you live for a second. What do you say, chat? Do we wipe him out? Or do we let him live for a little longer so he can pay us for the privilege of a couple extra days on his calendar? <laughs> all right. Chat seems pretty, uh, I mean, at least the first three people to respond were all resolute in letting him live. Sorry, uh, Ichikiri Yoku, you came in wanting, wanting blood. Hmm, Pokemon Prophet. If you meet someone later, they'll be mad when you kill. Kill him before anyone else finds him. Let him live. Kill for free stuff. Or let him live for free stuff. Money sounds real nice. Yeah, I like all this money we're getting in here. And you know what? Normally, when I set my sights on someone, I never let them live and, like, make peace afterwards. But you know what? For now... I think we'll I think we'll give him like 30 turns to live. It's a lot of grievances. Yeah, how can we can't Okay, 10 turns, not even 30. 
Why did I think it was so long? Sure is fun though, huh? J neighbor? Uh, before he denounces us. Five gold a turn. You, how about, hold on. Sweeten this deal. You don't even want incense? That's not enough? A whole resource? All right, what if I just want this? It is significantly less. And, I mean, really? This is actually only for 10 turns, because in 10 turns we're going to declare war and kill him again. <laughs> nah, forget it. Forget it. Not worth it. Just to get the ability to walk through these handful of tiles. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna have to send my scout all the way back around, but whatever. It's a scout I didn't really care for anyway. I called him a sacrificial scout when we got him. How are you not reducing anything? Oh, that's why. Boop, boop, doo, 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 boop, 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 boop. Get ready for your eventual ability to fish. Hmm. Well, should we not explore then for fear of meeting someone else? Hmm. No use crying over spilled milk. Hey, Egypt. What's up? Want to be buddies? What if you had some free incense from me? Wouldn't that be cool? You probably wouldn't believe any of those nasty rumors the Japanese are spreading about me, huh? Uh, sure. Also, here's two horses. What would you give me for that? Alright, well... We know they're right there, and that's their capital, so they can't have that many cities. Right? Like, unless they're, like, really stretching up here. Boo -doo 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 -doo. It is not that life for sure is distasteful. Alright. Back up, you've got like no more turns left, so you're basically done. Go in here, protect our builder, because I want to burp and then buy this tile. Oh, I mixed up that order. Sorry. Also, that burp was terrible. It felt like it was going to be way bigger. You ever have those? Like you can just feel it kind of building in your lungs or whatever, wherever. Belches build up in your esophagus. Losing loyalty here. Excuse me. Grand Columbia came in and gave you a new life. New meaning. How dare you. Down to unfriendly already. Dang. Well, I have a feeling they're going to be upset at me for having grievances against other players. <laughs> That said, them in Japan, oh wait, nope, she is friendly with Japan, never mind. But Japan is not friendly with her. Odd. <laughs> Fishing! Can you not go up there? Come on, man. Pow hammer! 
Hey, thank you, Alpha Mako, for the bits. Uh, must construct additional pylons. You got it. As soon as I see some pylons to construct, you you better believe it's gonna be our first move. Hmm. Should I cool it with the exploration? We might meet more people who will just be mad that I'm alive. Also, I don't like th how close they are to this uh, tribal village. How long until you get there? Golly. Got some moves to make. I'm worse than Brutus and Cassius combined. The world will know my truth. Okay. If you say so. Oh, hi, fellas. Didn't expect you here. Hey, yeah, boost. That's right. A new challenger approaches, question mark. You just stay on guard there, even though you really can't shoot them from there. They have to get a little bit closer. Whoa! Okay. Barbarian Island. Got it. Well, this will be a city-state soon. We should buy from here and try and speed that up, and then these will all be friendly. This uh, scout. Let's check what they got. Memphis. Now oh, come on. I know that's in Tennessee, not Egypt. What are you doing to me, Civ? Bring him up there so we can start farming barbarians on him. Or maybe nah, I wouldn't want to send a vampire up there alone yet. We should build a couple horsemen just to boost our vampire now that I think about it though also I should build this encampment where at though mm. I'm not crazy about it but I think we're gonna put it there but we can't do it yet so instead we will Wait, do we we already got this boost, didn't we? Or do we not have three archers yet? Okay, yeah, we already got this boost. Um Though is that still something worth getting? Let's just do the horseman, I guess. Everybody knows Teddy conquered Memphis from the Egyptians. And who knew the, uh, who had the nerve to forward settle him near his own continent? True. Egypt was asking for it at that point. Really? Uh, do we get Maui? Maui right now? -y? Or do we build a galley to protect... Ma Maui or galley? What do you say? Because uh, we have a galley just kind of survey here. Because we do have a couple units that'll be running amok, but also we don't really have any resources here that they could mess with, so might not be worth dealing with. And Maui could maybe make us some stuff, so I'm gonna get him. Farewell, twins. H Huna Hunapu and... Okay, how do you do an X-B-A-L sound? Like, is it Ixball? Like, do you Imagine an I there. Is the X silent? So is this just a balanke? I'm curious how that's expected to be pronounced. Is it a ch sound? I think that's the Chinese that they do with the X. Not sure. You just sneeze? All right. Shblank! Shblank! Shblanke. Okay, in Smite it's pronounced... She belonged. Hey, I feel hmm. good. I 
Woo! Thank you, Fampy. What cool hero do we want? Well, Maui, I guess. He can make new resources for us. I would love for us to get, uh, what's his nuts? Hercules. But I ain't seen him yet, so not looking too good. Or super hopeful, anyway. It's not a huge deal if we don't get him. I just like him. You can... X in Chinese is a slightly different S -H or SH sound. Yeah, I'm really not up on my linguistics and different pronunciations in different languages. But I feel like I have just definitely seen X in Chinese words and they give it a SH kind of sound. But I'm sure there's tons of subtleties that I don't even understand or realize. Oh, they were settling right near this wonder. Good for me. Uh, <laughs> you could just start attacking Rocket Dad. I mean, they don't have any boats as far as I can tell. What would they do? How would they stop it? We're right here, and we've got to wait however many turns to declare war on good old Fukukoa. F f fuck, fuck you, Oka. So, I mean, we could just eat, eat, we could eat Gypt right now. Nothing... Like, who? how are they going to stop us? We've got these two units and a boat. I don't think they really have any recourse here. Like, they've got a warrior up here. Their combat strength is next to nothing. Yo, 21 Jump Skeet, thank you. Uh, just finished first stream with your brother on a Soul Link Nuzlocke of Fire Red. How am I? Uh, I'm doing okay. What's a Soul Link Nuzlocke? What does that mean? That's a, I'm not up on that term. This isn't... Alright, we'll declare war maybe next turn. And we can get this archer into a better place for it. Actually, when I said next turn, I actually mean the turn after this one. We'll just be right on their borders. You denounced us, huh? Do you realize what you have done to yourself? Nobody denounces Grand Columbia and lives. And I kind of want to just wait out my time with these guys. Feel another sneeze coming on. <coughs> Ugh. That was a wet one. Sorry. Should I put up content warnings if I sneeze? Is that something that bothers people? Do you feel gross if you hear a sneeze directly into a microphone? <sighs> Tell Osiris I sent ya. It's funny because I've got like most of my strongest units are still kind of hanging out over here because <laughs> I don't think I'm even going to need them with this. Just walk you in here. Blah, blah. You'll come on in. Hey, howdy. All right, you got some slingers. Man, now that I listen for it, I can absolutely tell. This, this is the Golden Sun battle theme, or like one of them. And I'm... It's so obvious now that I hear it that this is the same guy who does the combat music. Well, like, basically all the music for the Tales games. Alright. Ola Jarky. Uh, we could have gotten extra experience for our guys. Oh, well. Oh, 
Uh, we play through Fire Red together, and every Mon we catch are linked together, meaning if one dies, the other is considered dead too. Okay, I see. So it's basically a co-op Nuzlocke with you both playing independently. Ah, uh, Jay Guns, uh, go to bed, Grant, it's late. It's only, what? It's not even 11 yet. These are baby hours. I know children who stay up this late. And they're troublemakers, let me tell you, but they still do it. I kind of want to just keep farming this uh, barbarian clan, so we'll hang out there. Woof. Thank you. Do I get him over there? He might at least be useful for this. Later, Mel Brooks. -ka. Thanks for hanging out. Hey, hey, horsey time. All right, you stab him. You finish him. Bop. Baron Horseman, no thank you. Hop, hop, hop light, sure. That'll get you closer to leveling up. I'm okay with you being a city-state that lives. We've got so many units. <laughs> we're we're gonna conquer these these poor Egyptians out here. Although, ooh, I see their chariot archers. That could actually be a problem. Yeah, I guess these things actually have the strength to stand up to us, and they've already really hurt that archer. Shit. Maybe this was a little premature. Kill him. What? I can't. Is there a hill there? There must be. All right. Shoot there, I guess. Damn, was hoping we would kill with that. All right. Scout, this might be a sacrifice play for you, but I think that they could probably shoot over you and kill that archer anyway. I know you guys, you see my city, but guess what? There's not really gonna be any Navy stuff going on here, so you're not gonna be doing yourself much. Oh, that's right, we can't walk through here. But he hasn't announced us still. I'll accept that. I just want to get that vampire over there quicker. And if we're going to do that, maybe this isn't worth trying to grind. Eh, two turns left for it to swap. City State was born. You're right, Granada. Do I have any people to... No, I don't have envoys yet. Bop, bop, bop. All right, they killed that scout, which is a bummer because we had leveled it up, but not the end of the world. That always reminded me of that part in Tarzan with the animals at the camp. Bum, 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 bum. 
I always thought that part was so fun. Granada like the camp? I can only assume. Am I naming cities after people in this game? Actually, you know what? I have not been doing city names. I should do that. Give me a second. Let me finish up this war, and then we'll take time renaming our original cities and our new cities, and then I might call it for the night. I don't know. How long have I been going? Oh, I haven't been going very long at all. What am I, who am I talking about? We got plenty of time on this stream. I barely just started. Someone told me it was late and I started thinking they were right. Don't mind if I do. Oh. Are you saying you want to fight, buddy? Because you know, I still have plenty of my forces right in your neck of the woods. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Hey, Julian. Thank you for gifting a sub to Barrel234. And welcome, Barrel. Hope you have a good time. We were so close to losing loyalty there without someone in it, so we'll fix that up. Oh, wait, no, I don't want him to move far away because a vampire's gonna spawn here, or er, barbarian's gonna spawn there. Alright, you guys sit here and heal for a little bit. Hit. Oh, oops. Didn't mean to do that. It's a little frustrating, but we'll live. Oh man, I learned how to play this on piano. I liked this song so much back in the day. This is like when you, I think this is when you finally get like the whole crew together in Golden Sun uh, 2. When the squad from the first game joins your new squad and it's like, holy shit, I didn't know this was gonna happen. Oh my God. And like, was like the most exciting one of the most exciting moments in video games for me because like I always wanted that like an RPG and then it's sequel with like a completely different set of like characters almost and then like the end of the second game they like collide and they're like hey we're we're actually on the same side what if we worked together and it's like holy shit really and like your old party comes in it was so good like I was I was absolutely stoked when that happened um don't I keep spending gold right before coming here and I don't have the gold to buy the tile I want to put an encampment on. So we'll just get a library. Oh that's right. You had to like put in this huge big code that it generated for your file that I guess was just like its weird way of sending your save data to a different cartridge. Wild. Almost forgot about that. Oh yeah, that's right. I wanted him to fight this guy. Oh well. You can do that. Um, I know that there is that horse archer up there, so I'm a little nervous. I don't want to get too close because that thing can actually hurt pretty good. You heal, you sit here, you keep healing. I want you to be full health before we start coming back out. So those horse archers mean business. There they are. All right, wait, does that mean they left? Are they out of the city so that's not defended? Because if so, that might be time for us to move. And yeah, you'll live fighting those things. So you know what? Vampire, I will trust you. Okay, right, 
cool. Nothing in the city. Good to know. You're gonna wish you had a unit in there still, buddy. Start moving you out. Oh, we got a Belmont boy in the chat saying they can't trust a vampire. Come on. Look at this guy. If bread is the first necessity. Is it this that lets me yeah. Can I look at his face. I keep accidentally scrolling completely off so I can't make him turn all the way around, but Yeah, there you go. You can kinda of see him there. Very trustworthy fella. Is this just a nature song or a nature sounds song? Yeah, it's called Nighttime Activities and Kirby Superstar. Also, sorry, you lose picture every time I click out. <laughs> I always loved this song because this was like, I mean, it's the credits, but it really felt like a. And your players, ladies and gentlemen, because like it's like all the. Monsters kind of having like a little name tag and like coming out like they just did a stage show. I always like that weird like I feel like Mario games, especially the early ones, kind of only always position themselves like no, this was all for fun. Like this was just this was just a stage show we did. Like I feel like three and world really lean into that, and two is kind of like all a dream. So it just feels very much like they're just like, nah, like everyone kind of gets along. We're doing this for you, the player. Like, we, we want you to have fun. And I always appreciated it. Bye, Egypt. You happy you denounced me now, Hojo? How much do we... Does it tell us what our deal, our current deals are? He's, is he still giving me money? Yeah, we're... Okay, for 16 more turns. Six gold for 16 more turns. It's not like he's going to be able to build a defense that can do anything to me at this point. Also, I figured Cleopatra had like a third city hidden up here somewhere. It's pretty... Pretty cringe that all it took was one assault to get all of her cities, basically. Thanks, Reezy, for the 95 bits. I appreciate you. Money, if it does not bring you oh, wait. You said you love me. That's not nice of me to demote you to appreciate. Thank you. I love you, too. Uh, are we going to die against the scout? Let's see. Hey. <laughs> Let's get everybody healed up. Except for you. You will start heading this way. Cause, or not you. Darn it. No. I wanted you to start heading this way. You should be over here still healing. Oh, well. So I want the vampire to heal off of this. Should I buy settlers just to fill up this land and get like some really good production going? Because we've still got like, we've now kill, we will soon kill our second, like a, a second player. So that will mean we started with eight because we did standard. Does that mean there's only five other people left after this? And we will want a pretty solid base of operations going. For when we start attacking other people, because 
we're probably going to have to do that with a navy first, which means our first brush with them will not be great. Watch as Japan has a secret city. I wouldn't be too shocked. Horsey boy, you come back here and start healing. You just hang out here. Trust me! That's just a Grand Colombian vampire hanging out on your borders. They're not gonna actually do anything. They just... They like to watch. Watch what? N nothing. Don't worry about it. Don't. You're thinking too hard. Sounds like we met someone. Hey, Kagwan. What's your thing? Uh. Oh, we can make babies. I don't think we're gonna be going much for tourism this game, so not too worried about it. Still don't have the money to buy a tile. So instead, we will. I wonder, maybe? I don't want to build another district. Even if the game is suggesting a theater square or a holy site. Is there anything where we need... We will eventually need, what is it, three musketeers or whatever? Yeah, musketeers. Musket men. Um, for the boost. But I don't... I'm not too worried about that. Maybe eventually getting a kill with a knight. Eh. You know what? Let's heroic tales. I never do that. Maybe we'll get Hercules, and that would be important and good. Well, we can start exploring a bit more with you. Maybe we should kill, kill Japan before exploring more so new civs don't hate us. That's true! How much gold are we going to lose from that? If we lose this, they're basically paying our economy right now. Uh, if they took away their six gold a turn from us. Also, I, I might just raise this city. Look at it. It's got no fresh water. What are you doing? Also, I think I'm done farming this. So we'll just eat it. Get that era score. Hey, hey. I don't remember when we started getting boosts for clearing barbarian camps. Maybe that's a specific thing to clans mode, but I like that. It's only a net of four gold, though. That's true. I am paying them too. I forgot about that. All right. Maybe we'll maybe we'll start guns a blazing next turn when we can get everybody in there at once. So I specifically want to shoot a couple times with the archer. That was awesome. Thank you, Spandex124 with that prime sub. Four months. Thank you very much. Hope you're having fun. You hang out there. Just sit and wait. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's closer to home than I'd like. Hold on. Fee fi fo fum. What are you doing here? Let's... Ah. Not a fan of the quad dry ring being there. All right. Japan, I've entertained your existence enough, but it is time for horror. Yo, thank you, Fampy, for the bits. Here's some incentive to finish them. <laughs> all right, all right, you bloodthirsty people, you. Really? It takes more movement than that to... All right. 
thought you were cool, vampire. Yes, okay, cool. I wanted to make sure we got it. What is that? Under siege. Love it when things are under siege. Because that means they don't get health back next turn. Ah, maze! Come on! What's it take to get a city named after me? Ooh, I hadn't thought about that. Let me let me weigh my options for a second. Let me consider how we can run this. I mean, I will probably limit it to subs just to have some sort of incentive in there. Ooh. Um, but as far as what you gotta do, Later, Hojo. Not impressed. And destroy this disgusting city. Dark Ride, and you just learned a random fact about Scar from Lion King. Is that it? Is it that his name is Taka, and that's Swahili for trash? Because I saw that floating around today. But that, not to sound too cool for school, but I might have already known that. All right, well, we've now killed everyone we've met, except for these damn barbarians. Knew your fact before you shared it. Alright, well, I think now we start filling in our land and kind of playing Sim City for a bit until we find more people to kill. Uh, cause odds are they have not been at war this whole time like we have, so they've probably been able to focus on their infrastructure and stuff. Also, with this many units, it's gonna be tough to maintain our economy, but we're gonna start sending trade routes to these, uh, city-states probably. We've got a good road now going between our original home and the country, country form, the land formerly known as Japan. Ugh. I was saying an awkwardly worded sentence and had a bunch of air trapped in my mouth. Bad mix. I mean, we've got the faith to purchase settlers, but that'd be eating our population in any city we do it. So I don't want to do it in a city where its population is, like, struggling to grow. And we're kind of in a low food area. So that's a lot of these cities. Osaka might be a good one. Actually, this place would have plenty of food if we got a builder in here, which we can also do. History is the version of past events that people have decided. We're not going to be the target of a declaration of war. Not for a while. Yeah, here. You know what? We'll make Rockadet our uh, settler city. Because this seems like a place that's going to have plenty of food options. Ooh, forest fire starting over here. Let's get away from that. Is your time done? I mean... That passive effect never goes away, right? It's not specifying an era. But I could just 
at once get a bunch of bonus attack power on stuff. Uh, you know what? It's silly to do it right now, probably. But this is definitely the upgrade we're eventually going to want. But I could also get our science up and running better, which I think is what I'm going to do. I'm very tempted to throw Magnus somewhere where we'd have a lot of chops, though. We could cut up a lot of these woods. That would get a ton of production in here, and then we could throw mines where all these woods were. Also eat up these jungles here in Memphis, build this city really quick. Maybe that's the way we go. Really start pumping stuff out of here. Because, like, the science would be good, but that's going to net us five science a turn. Which is, like, not nothing. But it's not really like something you're going to write home about. So I think, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. We'll put Magus, Magnus and Memphis. Okay, uh, people in the chat who have played Chrono Trigger, do you call him Magus or Magus or Magus? I've heard those three pronunciations, and I kind of like all of them for different reasons. I like, I like Magus, because he is obviously a mage. He is magical. Uh, I think Magus sounds like a very cool, just villain name. And Magus is like Mega, and so he's powerful. And I feel like I can see the logic for all of them. It's like M-A-G-U-S, right? So, like... Which, also, if you want to talk about moments where the first time I was playing a video game and went like, <gasps> was when... I discovered you could recruit him. <laughs> and I was just like, oh my god! He's so cool! And he can be in my team! Magus. I like using the deep voice. Hey, hey, hey! Remember when we were doing that heroic thing and I was like, wouldn't it be neat if we got Hercules? Look who we get. Alright, who could do it fastest? 44 turns. Doubt it's you. You don't have your monument yet, so it's probably not you. 26 turns. Ooh. These are all kind of rough. 20. But we still got 8 to finish this. I mean, nothing says we can't do a bit of chopping. Or actually, you know what? Once we have Magnus in here, now I'm thinking of Magus and Magus. Uh, we could probably do these chops and that'd be fine. And once we chop this out, we will probably move Magnus over here. Not only for the chops, but also to uh, if we're gonna if we're gonna make this our settler printing city. I guess then we don't have to worry so much about population though. Because I was gonna say we could throw Magnus in there so we're not losing pop every time we make a settler. Maybe. Maybe what we do here is we put what's her name, Liang. Am I okay? Hold on, hold on. Starting to city planner Grant has returned to the game. City planner Grant logged on. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I like this. I like this a lot. Okay, we're going to. I've got a Yo, Dirtadur! Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for gifting all those subs. Welcome, Xenotine, Tacitus, Link, Link, Linkle Legend, Link Legend, or Linklegend, too. <laughs> May account and man called Brand. Welcome to the channel. Uh, okay, what, which, which attack is it? Okay, yeah. I think I want to put this here, maybe, and then this here. And then this here. this here and look at that that's 
And then, I didn't even notice you, you've got a wonder right here. Is it any wonder? Hold on, maybe. And we've got, okay, we've got resources here, so we can't put anything here. These are off limits. And yes, currently we have something here, but this could go here. Or do we move this down here? I don't know what this song is. Definitely sounds like Zelda 64. So it could be a Majora's Mask or Ocarina of Time, but I don't recognize it. Which makes me think it's probably Majora. Because I feel like I've at least heard the Ocarina soundtrack more times. What do you think? Does this layout look good? I kind of want to put a theater square somewhere near this. Maybe an entertainment district as well. But that's a lot of districts for one city. But it's also going to be like our high population city, it's feeling like. Like, I can make a good farm circuit triangle here. We're going to have a ton of plantations that'll all be pumping out food. We've even got a resource here that maybe we can make two farm triangles. We have this here with another spot around it that we could put something. I kind of don't like eating up one of its spots with a mountain, but that's that's what happens. Maybe a... This is us long-term planning. Damn. If this was, like, over some... Well, nah, maybe not. You love the mountain, to be honest, Reezy? Well, the problem with the mountain just for like a quick mechanical thing, is the cool thing about the government plaza is it provides uh, one uh, plus one adjacency to every ad uh, adjacent district. So every district that's by it gets a bonus to its output. So like we've got a, a holy site, a, universe, a campus uh, right here, and it's going to boost both of those and this eventual commercial zone. But this tile already being eaten by a resource can't get rid of that and this tile being eaten by a mountain can't get rid of that so there's no districts to be put there so it can't give any bonuses I could also maybe see swapping this for the industrial zone and maybe moving the commercial district over here Then we could have... Okay, hold on. This might actually be better. Maybe I'll turn you into this. Because, yeah, that's plus seven. I'll put you here. It does lose a bit of money. But then I think we will also have... Commercial zone here. And then between them... Because you'll want to protect this. And we'll want to protect this dam. I'm liking this even more now. The diplomatic quarter. Because that gives you additional security on surrounding things. Now, we do have this slot here that could be anything, and what that anything could be... Let's get rid of you. Maybe you too. Uh, as far as this going to go, we could put Entertainment District here. That will send amenities to everyone. And then a Theater District here, and look at that. Now, again, this is going to require hell of... Uh, Whatchamacallit, um, population to do this, because we're going to need people living in these cities, but I think we could do it. Where is our Navy City? We're going to need one of those for the other sips. That's also true. Rockadet could maybe do that. Well, not really. It doesn't really have much fish. Honestly, maybe. Car Tar Cartagena? Okay, actually, yeah. Hold on. I didn't even notice this. Damn it. I should have maybe moved... Yeah, I really probably should have settled here. Actually, I guess it doesn't matter. Actually, no, hold on. Maybe our Navy City is going to be right here. Because if we... Also, sorry, I know I said I was going to rename cities and stuff with people, but... My, uh... 
my city planner brain is starting to fire. If we could go here, then we could get... I usually don't like putting... Actually, I'm, I'm a big liar. I always want to put harbors and commercial zones together, even though I know you really never need both in a single city. I love seeing that big boost they get from each other. Reezy, you just want Reezy Mania. Okay. Well, maybe that'll happen. And then... We have another candidate for a good... Industrial zone. Because we could... This... Huh? Huh? And we got like these spots that we could fill up with things. Yeah, I think this is going to be our move here. Reezy asking, is Civ good on consoles? I definitely think PC is, like, the best way to play it. I have it on Switch, uh, and it works. I, I, like, I'm always happy I have it whenever I bring it with me on, like, trips and stuff. Um, but when I'm at home and I have the option to play on PC, I would almost never play on a console. I still don't know if I love the move of putting an a, a encampment here. Like, I feel like I should, because encampments are just good ways to make units, and I feel like I'm going to want my capital to be pumping units. But maybe, maybe it's not the move. Also, how long do we have left on this era? Should I be worried that I haven't been buying settlers? Uh, 13 at the minimum. That's plenty, and we'll have a golden era for sure. I'm not going to get shot by this guy and killed, am I? I just really want to get rid of this uh, scout telling him where we are. Although I guess he probably already sang like a canary to these guys. I'm going to hope for the best. Oh, and we didn't even kill him. Life's not fair, is it? We just killed all the bosses. Now we can f go in and uh, fight Sigma. Things are about to get real, y'all. We definitely need a Navy City somewhere. I'm putting it off because I don't want to do it. But eventually it's going to be necessary to look at the rest of the map. So if so much memory on Switch, unless you have an SD card, then, then it's like nothing. But without one, it's almost like the only game you can play. Yeah, that's also true. I do have a big SSD card in my Switch, because uh, at some point I was like, I want to always have all of my Switch games with me when I travel. So I've just been buying them all digitally. And you know what? Hey, I understand. Someday, any day, Nintendo could pop in and say, oh, guess what? Uh, those games you bought, you were just renting them and you no longer own them. Uh, you know, because digital storefronts are always a risk. But I'll live with it. If someday I can't play Pokemon Snap, so be it. Okay. Well, how are we going to name these cities? Reezy Mania. All right, hold on. Let me, let me make a text document. Mm, Roger, no cleanup. Can life get better? Yo, thank you, Kimusobe. Uh, well, I guess, again, thank you, Omer. Uh, but thank you, Kimo, for being here. All right, let's see. Pull up a text document. Do I want to make it a bidding thing? Do I want to make it a first come, first serve thing? I don't think we've got enough people to make it a thing where they got to fight over it, I guess. But I will. 
I will be demanding either a sub or some kind of bit leader badge. Uh, but Reezy has already claimed Reezy Mania. So I will add that to li the list. It doesn't mean it's going to be our capital. I do want to figure out a good name for the capital. But okay, if you are a sub, or if you've got bits to throw, uh, please suggest names for cities and I will add them to a list. Uh, Dark Riding, you can get one. Here, you got you got subage. You've been subbed. So long as I see a sub badge on you or some kind of bit given badge, I I will allow it. Can one just be fampy? Sure. Oh, fan he. Aspire. <laughs> Ichi, is that is that your is that your suggestion, or is that what you're in? Do you want the do you want aspire or do you want aspire? Like, is it said aspire, but we're going to spell it aspire? Just want to make sure I'm getting the bit here before I write it down. Squidstar wants me to name one boobs. Well, you do have a prime gaming thing, but it doesn't look like you're sub to me, so I'm afraid that falls on deaf ears for now. Yes, Aspire. Okay. I think I'm going to name the capital Grant Columbia. Just so we've got that joke immortalized. You know what? I will give Car Cartagena de in Indias. That will become Reezy Mania. Yo, Squid Star, subbing for boobs. You got it. All right, Squid Star, since you subbed on the spot because of my demand, uh, you get to choose. Do you want the Japanese capital or the Egyptian capital to be boobs? Osaka will become Fampy. You want Japanese boobs? You got it. All right, Memphis will be Aspire. Asure, nope, fingers in the wrong spot. All right, hold on, let me look back up the list because I looked away to type all this. Dark Ride, you want the damnation of Alucard? I don't know if that's going to fit. That's pretty long. We'll we'll let it stay for now. We might call it TDA later. Wait, it's pronounced fanfy though? Aren't you is You're the it's your name is the same as the Pokemon, right? I'm pretty sure that's fanfy. Right? I I don't I guess I don't know. Uh can we have a city called Y A A A P? Inside joke of my friends, but it would be funny to see here. Well, you know what? You've asked Dur Dur. And thus, I shall accept it. Uh, unless I already took one of yours earlier, but I don't think I did. Nope, don't look like it. But uh, we are out of cities right now, so we'll we'll get that later. I do want to mark you down as the person who did it, so. Dur, dur, dur. I kind of shortened your name in my text document, but trust me, it's still there. I hate that OBS, like, 
I mean, I get it's probably because I have this full screened, and anytime I click out of it, like that, it no longer knows where to look. But then it finds it, but then when I click back in, it goes away again. I wish I could find a setting to tell it to not do that. Because if I'm going to be making this list, I'm going to be clicking out of the window a lot. And I don't want to give people epilepsy issues. With the heart. Ziltoid, you're wanting a Revenge of the Sith Ville? Alright, hold on. Hold on, you've got dashes between. Added. There we go. don't have any incoming iron, so there would not really be an immediate reason to get swordsman, right? We could go for harbors, since we're going to need to start building our navy soon anyway. So I do think we're going to do that. Although, we could immediately be getting a ton of extra production in a lot of our cities, because we I kind of went crazy with mines earlier. Which is not a play I normally go for, but... Uh, one of my favorite players of the game, Potato McWhiskey. It's always like you can never have too many mines too early. And he's like really good at this game, so he probably knows what he's talking about. Oh, we're out of charges. I was like, why can't I set another thing? Also, who, where was I going to be building? Was I going to be building Herc here? 26 turns still seems like a lot. That's right, I wanted to put it here. I want to position... Alright. And when we do this, the city's not going to have like any production. Is that a problem? We could have a mine over here, I guess. Maybe a quarry here, but ugh. Quarries, am I right? So these are all jungles on flat land. I thought we'd at least have a hill in here somewhere. Robe guy throwing in some channel points to do the change of costume to put a box on Bolivar's head. Hold on. Actually, wait, do I still have that file somewhere in my computer? I should, right? another very good song. Wow. I'm going to tell everyone yeah. about right, this. Hold on. I'm going on the internet. The net, Jerry. The net. There we go. Now he's the king you all know. It's me, Simon Bolivar. We're going to destroy everyone. Thanks for watching. Alright. That's that bit. <laughs> Thanks for the suggestion, Rogue Guy. Hooey! What are we gonna do? Um, ma -ma -ma -ma. What will we study? What sciences will we understand? Give me more mines. Or wait, did we not get the... No, I want, I want this first. 
Do I? I'm not gonna have a city that I want to build a harbor in in nine turns. Or in three turns. Probably not even in 12 turns. But I will have mines that will be helpful in nine turns. So we're doing that. I've changed my mind. I guess just kind of scope out this, scope out the scenes, y'all. I mean, we got some trouble over here, but I don't want you guys spending all your time moving down here. Ooh, okay. Let's figure out another road we want to make. We could get Reezy Mania onto the road. Damnation of Alucard could. I mean, it's already got a road, I guess, that goes to Aspire, and Aspire already has a road that goes to Fampy. 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 We have no way, because we don't have uh, harbors yet. We have no way to send it to Granada, which I would like to do. Thank you, Ich Ich Ichiru. You, I feel bad because you've been subbed here for five months, uh, and I've seen you in chat lots of times, but I never know how to say your name. Ichikir Ichikir Yoku. It's the Kier in the middle of it that throws me off. Ich Ichikir Yoku. Thank you for the five months. All roads lead to boobs, says Squidstar. It's true. Boobs is kind of a, a center spot for our nation here. Uh, Ekish with 100 bits wanted to tell you I watched Magic Time Wizards today. OMG, as a therapist in real life, I have never laughed harder than I did at your anxiety joke, specifically your response. You're such a boss. Uh, I, I remember Kieran making the anxiety joke. I, I won't lie to you. I actually forget what I said to it. Because uh, Kieran says, like, anxiety is the most selfish, like... Does he say, does he call it a disease? Does he say it's the most selfish disease? But, and I think I just kind of glibly go like, yeah, I, sounds right to me. I honestly don't remember. <laughs> oh, just, that's a take I haven't heard before. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, does boobs already have a road? To, yes, it does have a road to Fampy, right? Maybe it doesn't. You know what? Let's let's just make it the road to Aspire. Not sure if there's already roads doing that, but we'll have one. Magic Time Wizards is probably my favorite, one of my favorite things I've ever made. Maybe not my absolute favorite, but definitely, definitely up there. And I, well, I don't want to say I made it, but one of my favorite things I've been involved in. <laughs> Man, remember that one scout we spent all that time getting XP for? He died. And like it was unceremonious his death. We could also start expanding this way. Yeah, I really should just be kind of focusing more on getting people. I want to get this granary in here first, because that's going to take a second. Also, wait. I need to repair this farm. I didn't do that. Forgot. Hope no one took the anxiety as the most selfish problem you can have. Joke seriously, because OMG, it's funny. I, I hope. I, I would think. We laugh pretty loudly and clearly after he says it. So I'd hope everyone kind of understands the bit there. As as people who struggle with anxiety, everyone in that call got the joke. I mean, I'm doing like cloud busting, but I probably shouldn't because I want more barbarians, right? Like I need this guy to get level ups. And for that to happen, we need barbarians, like, around us. So I guess we've got kind of a good spot here to let them show up if we can. Could we just kind of 
leave this area clouded over. Because they'll they'll show up in, only in tiles where that like you have no visibility, right? Like, and they show up pretty close, clearly. Also, I didn't notice there was one down here already. So you know what? Maybe this is where we should send our vampire. Where are you at, buddy? You start coming down here. No! Damn you, flood! Start building walls in here so we can shoot at these mo effas. Uh, yeah, keep pulling back. Give us as much cloud coverage as we can. I would love to make that quote my email signature at work, but I don't think it would be taken in the right spirit. Yeah. Uh, what, you said you were an actual therapist? Uh, yeah, yeah, a therapist in real life. So yeah, they feel like your patients probably would not be too stoked about that. They probably wouldn't see the comedy in it. Uh, uh. Then again, I don't know. I thought it was funny. Uh, bu 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 bu. One more build charge left. What are we doing with it? What are we doing with it? One of my favorite uh, Diddy Kong racing tracks. And probably my favorite, like, this will sound weird, but like, I know this isn't a Christmas song or anything like that, but like, this is my favorite, like, Christmas vibes song, I think. Like, obviously, this is the sped up version, but. I, I, I love this one. <laughs> the, uh, we already passed it, but the... Is like one of my favorite just kind of musical parts in video games. Task this. You, you just got back from lunch. What'd you miss from Egypt? They became ours! They actually died before Japan did. This is a little too fast for me. More Diddy Kong racing? I won't complain. Would a commercial zone be smarter here? I think I could put a commercial zone here, maybe? Thank you for the 100 bits uh, for the domination of Egypt and tunes that bring back good old in 64 days. Yeah. Thanks, dog. I kind of want to put it there, but I don't know where else we're going to be getting food in this city. Like, we could start a farm triangle here, I guess. But then that also presumes we're not using... These four. Oh, I guess this could be an aqueduct, maybe? And then another industrial zone right there. He's like Alexander the Great, but he also brings the jams. You know? Okay, I think... Again, this is eating up a lot of our tiles here, but maybe this is the only way we do it. Um... 
something like this. Wait, why did you... You were seven. Why did you become six? Oh, wait. No, this is only five. I thought we had a seven there at some point. Did I get rid of another thing? Oh wait, no, this was the plus seven one. That's what I was thinking. Aqueducts need to be attached to a city, doesn't it? Yes. And I'm saying if there's a city here, because that's what this star represents, a city center, its aqueduct would have to go, or aqueduct, however you say it, would have to go in one of these two tiles. So we could put, like, aqueduct there. Then maybe another industrial zone there. So it would also be getting a double bonus. That would add another bonus to this. We can also, hold on. Another good harbor city, kind of. Five and a four with another five and four. So two big harbor production spots pumping out units from here. Is this all flat through here? Could we theoretically have this city as a pass-through spot? Get the friggin' Panama Canal right here? A city? Just regular canal? Panama Canal? Then we can chop off traveling through all that. Just be able to go straight through with our boats. Again, we could put oh wait no I guess we wouldn't be able to put like we could put theoretically we could uh oops didn't mean to do that booster tower another excellent video game track industrial zone there from this city. Does that make sense? Is that worth doing? Do you need two side-by-side -side industrial zones? Does that even help you? I mean, it would add a ton of production to the city, yeah, but it'll be getting some good production with all these fishies. Or at least these three. I don't think we can... Yeah, that's too far out. It's one, two, three... One, two. One, two, three. Oh yeah, we can't even get this one, so we're just gonna get these two at most. Oops. Uh, what are you doing? That's right, that's why I was doing this, because I want to figure out what I want to put down next. Don't have aqueducts yet, because that would be the easy move right here. Great library, where would you go? Nope. Not worth. Not ideal. Not from a Jedi. Let's get science, I guess. I always hate doing those, but I don't think I want any more units because we're already kind of, like, not that we're struggling for money, but I don't want to be dropping more money on units. I guess a builder in here might work, and I could save the faith for settlers. Which I still haven't been buying. I should really 
to that. What are you looking like? What are you looking at? I mean, I feel like I was clearly intending my placement here to have some kind of, uh... Well, I guess I could still have... Again, lots of cities with commercial zones and harbors, and I still believe that's really not a good move in general, but I like doing it. So I think we're going to do it. Not quite familiar enough with Civ 6, but zones have a radius and are not city limited, I seem to recall. Yeah, I, well, there are, uh, like, you can build factories and stuff in industrial zones that have ranged effects. Their general stuff don't. Like, I think most of their, most of the buildings only apply to the internal city, but it's not until you get, like, mid and late game that you start getting the buildings that spread their effects. Thoughts on the new Suicide Squad movie? I haven't seen it. Um, I, I'm hearing everyone love it, and I feel like I like I definitely plan on at least eventually checking it out. But I don't know. I know everyone's kind of kind of jazzed about it right now, but I still feel very like not. It's not so much that I'm like the last Suicide Squad was so bad. There's no way this like I, it's not that I'm saying that, but it just feel like. I don't know. And I, and I know James Gunn is good, too. Like, I, I like Guardians and everything, and people are like, this is like Guardians, but it's violent! Which, uh, yeah, that, that sounds like it could be cool. But, I don't know. I, it's just like, I kind of don't... I, I don't feel like watching it in a weird way. Like, I don't know. It's odd. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We're trying to kind of keep that area clear. We want Barbarians, so I can get more XP on my... Or more power on my vampires. Right, now that your population's gonna be growing, I don't feel bad buying settlers here. You're standing here so I can't buy builders. So you need to start churning those out so we can build this city faster. Whoa! Alright. Must be... There's gotta be... Barbarian camp somewhere out there. Somewhere out... You remember that song. You're still headed down there. You heal up, and then I'm going to swing you around this way. And hope that works out. Wobblehawk. Uh, hey, Grant. You and Karen are the reason I played Contradiction Spot the Liar for my own channel. The finale comes out tomorrow, and I'm really proud of it. So I wanted to thank you for showing me the game. Hey, congratulations. It's a really good game. Glad you're enjoying it. Defense. Rupert Bur Booth is a national treasure. All right, builders. What are we looking at as far as housing here? Five? All right. What's the history do for this? Culture, huh? Hmm. If that's their theater square, then this having a big boost to culture would actually be great. So yeah, I like that. I'm a fan of this move. 
that also guarantees we at least have some production when I get rid of all of these jungles. Get our farms working, right? How close are we to finishing this encampment? Two turns? Yes. <gasps> A religion? Th thanks, Japan. You, you guys having all this faith generation sitting here for me has allowed me to create my own religion. Call this religion and what are we gonna make it look like again only people with uh, sub or bit badges will be you know paid attention to in this discussion not too bad i always uh, judge a movie by how it takes before i get uncomfortable how long it takes before i get uncomfortable in my seat this one had a few moments of it but entertaining nonetheless okay grant tonight's the cult of grant thick thighs all right faith in tits says squid star squid star you've already got your boobs in here i don't know if I'm, i don't know if i'm gonna let you get that grantism i think grant tonight's is in the lead right now but you got two votes, Grantism. Ekus, we're trying to figure out what we're going to call our religion. Tales of Grant. I'm assuming you mean the other version of Tales, like the uh, games. All right, seeing a lot of Grantonites, so we'll do that. What what makes you think Grantonite of these? We can. It starts uh, at the crab and goes down to the turtle. I mean, I think scorpions and snakes are pretty cool, personally. I don't. Is this like a cactus? I'm not sure what this symbol's supposed to be. Mm, people are saying snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Melon Lord, you always go for the snake, uh, the snake symbol, because you are the almighty noodle. That's not bad. Enough people said snake. If that's what we'll go with, we'll call it Grantonite. Wait, hold on. I mean, the Grantonites would be the followers, right? So what would be the name of the religion itself? Like, Grant, Grantonotism? Grant, Grant, Grantism? And Grantonites? So it is Grantism. Grantonism? Because, yeah, I guess if it was just, no. Grantonism. All right, I'm seeing, I'm seeing, seems like a consensus is Grantonism. Which I'm all right. We are the Grantonites. Behold the Grantonites. All right. Uh, well, this would make me want to build more holy sites. But it wouldn't be bad. Eh. Got a couple world wonder, well, at least one world wonder already. I'm already kind of building a good faith economy. If I could just be buying theater squares and stuff. Or districts with faith, that wouldn't be bad. Extra amenities wouldn't be terrible. My fear with religion... Uh, now I'm already kind of regretting picking this, because religion... The thing that makes a religion is an annoying, or religion annoying in, con like in conquest games is... Loyalty now is dependent on you converting new cities to your religion. If you have a religion and your cities aren't following it, they start losing loyalty. It's too late now. I've already gotten the guy, but just something to keep in mind. 
The amenities could be good, though, as we're, you know, trying to conquer more places. We need our people to be happy, so loyalty sticks pretty quick. Is this the same kind of creation screen Jesus had to use? Probably. I have a feeling Civ tries to make this as historically accurate as possible, so I, I think, you know, all the major religious leaders through the time, through the years, probably had a screen like this when they were setting it up. Uh, without your own religion, do do your cities fall easily fall victim to enemy religion conver conversion? Yes, but it has no effect on your loyalty. So basically, as long as someone isn't winning a religion game, it doesn't really matter as much. <laughs> You know, if I have, I'm gonna be trying to chain golden ages where we're gonna be using faith to buy settlers and builders, and then eventually I'm gonna be getting faith, uh, using faith to purchase units. So giving me another thing to purchase with faith might be a bad idea because I don't want to be dumping all of that faith in different directions. It should be good to keep it focused. So I'm starting to lean on amenities, even though that does not seem very good in the long run. Mm. But you know what? I've never used it. I have, I have used this before. I've used this before. I don't think this seems very good. We're not doing a culture game. Although we do have relic. We are going to be getting relics, and we could just be generating more faith from them. A triple yield of faith and tourism. And we currently have this relic. And it's already giving us four. That would instantly turn into 12. And this uh, heroic relic, relic from the twins instantly becomes six. Like that's, that's a lot of faith. That's so much faith. But I feel like I use that every time. Come on. But it's just real good. I think we're going to do it. Divine Inspiration is pretty good for late game faith and money. Oh, late game faith money. Yeah. Every World Wonder also bringing... Plus four faith. That I guess that does eventually add up. But still, man, I feel like we're gonna be getting a lot of at least heroic relics. Maybe not regular ass relics. More about the flavor choice. What would Grant want his cult to be around? Okay, yeah, let's look at these names. I mean, I'm a big believer in work ethic. A religious community would be nice. Being inspired by the divine is pretty good. Not crazy about reliquaries in real life. Education? I mean, that is useful. Meditating is pretty good. It's pretty chill. Does the picking of the symbol have any uh, do anything beyond aesthetic? No. The, you can pick any symbol you want and it doesn't affect anything. Uh, 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 uh. I feel like I'm getting in my own head too much. So, you know what? This is going to make every every wonder everyone else builds will just give us more faith. Because our game is not going to be building wonders. Our game is going to be conquering cities with wonders in them. Because that's just going to be jumping our, our faith. And we are very inspired, you know. Um, I'm not going to worry about the post, whatchamacallit, uh, temple buildings. Not worried about defending, so 
this doesn't make sense. I'm not planning on converting before I move into places, so this doesn't really do me much. Not going to be building very many holy sites. The religion just automatically spreading further would probably be good. Religious spread from pressure is 25% stronger and it's boosted to 50. Uh, when we got printing, which ain't bad. We could we could just uh, double down on the wonders. And sacred places would give additional bonuses to wonders. You know what? I've never done that before. Let's let's like really go ham on wonders. Again, assuming and that's why that's why we're becoming conquerors because we covet other people's wonders. We won't build them ourselves, but we will take them. Get extra build charges. I keep fog busting this area when I ostensibly want more uh, barbarians. Does Divine Inspiration work on wonders you don't own as well or just wonders you own? I assume just wonders I own. It would be odd for me to get it, be getting faith for other people's wonders, but I guess it does say all wonders. But I think that just means all wonders in your kingdom. So like this should now be giving me a bunch of extra stuff. Which, oh yeah, every city that has a holy site automatically adopts my religion, I forgot. That's pretty good. Oh, and I guess Egypt at some point had Buddhism. Or I guess maybe Japan had it, I don't know. have this just to spread it over here. This song doesn't choke. Uh, both natural and artificial wonders. Uh, it says world wonders, which I think specifically means the ones you build. What is this song? Asks Wobblehawk. This is the creepy castle boss, King Cut, King Cutout, uh, from Donkey Kong 64. A blizzard! Oh, did that just sweep through a bunch of those barbarians, I wonder? Oh, hey. Back up, back up, back up. Well, maybe got too many units up here. I could probably stand to move at least one of you down here to help defend this place. Sneeze coming. <coughs> there it is. city I already had kind of planned. Yeah, one over there. So... Do we want to drop this place down to three pop right away? 
Nah, it's only got a couple turns before it adds up again. We'll wait for that. You can also probably get another city down here. And honestly, we probably should to start generating some iron. Yeah maybe, <laughs> yeah, maybe we actually want two more settlers at least. And I still kind of want to start settling in this direction some. Oh, God. Get out of there, Archer. It's the Shadow Temple, right? Despite me always liking, uh, you know, being the classic edgy teen who's like, ooh, dark, cool, broody. Always hated this dungeon. We're going to get a really good farm triangle right here. Take advantage of these uh, cool wonder tiles. We were going to make Herc, too. That's right. I chopped all this out without making him. I forgot. You know what? That would have been much smarter to do than the zone, too. What are you looking like? We don't need the walls here as much. We can start it here. I, uh, famous last words, but I don't believe the AI will make them before we do, even at this rate. All right, let's get out of here so we can maybe let some barbarians spawn up there. Hey, we've already got another Golden Age secured. We're so cool. There is no the Northern Volcano erupts! Uh, what science need we? Nice to get that soon. We're going to be founding that city soonish, so we might as well have that technology ready to go. Uh, our preserves, I think, we're going to make. Do we want to just grab a free envoy also? I'm going to need a few turns before I get real good farm triangles so I can wait on feudalism. Hey, free library. Do we have a library in here already? We don't. So guess where you're going, buddy boy? Where is he? Yeah, I'll get to him later. Oh, hey, we can become friends with somebody. I don't really care about either of these, but for... The eyesight. Oh, this one's about to evolve. Cool. I think I'm going to go Kagawana. That added visibility way out here would be nice. Did we meet anyone doing that? No, but we did get Himiko. Himiko would be another very good one for me to have. I'll wait for some other cities to finish up what they're doing, though. That's right. This is Barb City. Later, Ekus. Have a good night. We're at our housing limit. So let's start putting a granary in. And you know what? Since we're already at our housing limit, it really won't bother me lower that a little bit. And that's like the last of our faith. 
No more faith purchasing settlers for a minute. Maybe getting that, uh, what do you call it? Missionary was unnecessary. There you are. All right. So this place already has a library, right? Yeah. Okay, so you, oops. You can warp over here. Get that free library over there. I'm so uncomfortable having all of this like unwatched map space because I normally am trying to fog bust as much as I can. But we need to start gaining XP and I need to start buffing my vampires if we're going to conquer Earth. Which you are still taking your sweet ass time to get down here. Right. Might need a builder in here to fix some things. Here we go. Grantonism needs to spread. Let's go ahead and just start getting some followers. Mysticism oh no! Is the mistake. Shooty boats. have founded a religion but we will soon have a farm triangle and it'd be nice to be getting boosted food out of them immediately but hey we'll take this Grantonism has been adopted in the capital. It's like hedonism, but cooler. Uh, okay, you're going down there. Do I want to make a city here or go for this one? I feel like I can more immediately make use of this area. Like, I know we don't have anything planned here yet. But okay, I'm already starting to see. Hold on. Once again, didn't think about how playing this way would definitely make me suddenly be a very, uh, whatchamacallit. Oh, wait. I was not understanding where these tiles were. I thought this was over here. So I was going to put the harbor there and get a double boost from fishies. Maybe this isn't as good as I thought. And really, it'd probably be better to net this resource. I hate not uh, being on fresh land, but there's no way for us to get these whales if we don't have a city at least here. One, two, three, yeah. I mean, I guess we could be insane and put a city right here. That would give us access to a bunch of fish, at least. One, two, three. Well, actually, not that much, really. But we would get whales in our empire, and that wouldn't be bad. Hmm. Things to think about, 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 about. Could throw the oracle up. Now we said we wouldn't be building our wonders, but maybe we have to. I'm gonna build a builder here. I know we can purchase them with faith, but we're running out.
I do still kind of like having a city here though. And like just this this corner is just our our naval just crunch city. Like this, like we could have a little harbor like here. Oof. Oof duh. Maybe not. Is it still just better to have it here? Even though it's not getting any of the yeah. Even if it's not getting the adjacency from these, it's still pumping more gold right here. And it's harbor adjacency is arguably the most important or one of the most important adjacencies because it affects so much in the harbors. Cause Alright, let's see. Yeah. Is it okay, no, it's not it's not for lighthouses. What is it for? Is it lumber yards? Where they use their adjacency. Bonus production equal to the adjacency bonus of the harbor district. Like, that's nuts. Like, you get a production bonus based on how good this is. So, like, this is going to be a plus four production. Plus two production. Not great. Another plus four. Plus three. And then you can later plug in. Uh, where is it? Boodly boodly boo. Is it naval tradition? Yeah, you get double adjacency for your harbors. So now this becomes plus eight, plus six. Uh, and then on top of that, you can throw in Reyna, where she'll have a double adjacency bonus for commercial hubs and harbors and cities. So all of a sudden that gets doubled again. And it's just like, now you're getting that much production and gold. That's sick, sick nasty. Bonify a genuine freak. That's how nuts it gets, you know? Uh, okay. Let's do it. Because I would also like that eye run. Look at that tile. Not much production, but holy cow. I saw that down arrow and thought it was loyalty, but we're just getting rid of the the forgotten religion. Also, I really like that at any time I can look at the technology tree and be like, ha, ah, this is as far as Japan ever got. This is as far as Egypt ever got. This is a very menacing sun. Definitely golden sun based on the instrument. Sound chip, whatever you want to call it. Sound font MIDI level. Oh, what did we meet? Oh, someone became a another city state. What do we get? Hey, Toriga! Now I feel like you've got a good bonus, right? Plus five percent science in all cities for each different improved strategic resource they have. Wait, they as in Taruga or they as in the city? the aqueducts we need those so my nose is real itchy hey papayan is the latest city in our sprawling empire the other other civilizations look off in awe Just beat Baby Bowser. Is that what that sound is? Yes. And then is this like the greatest credit song ever? So go into it? No. Yeah, this is just this part, right? 
Yeah. Okay, it just does that part. Next song. That little jingle is not as good as I wanted. Oh, but then we get the best Mega Man X song. Gravity Beetle top tier track. Don't even front. You don't know good music if you don't think this is one. Anybody, any takers? I don't want to get myself in a position where I'll be surrounded by boats. I want to make them have to funnel in here and fight me. Oh boy, this might be the death of Maui. Next turn. That. Do that. Look at that! Oh! Powerful tiles! Love to see it. Feudalism, so our triangles are better. There was a tribal village down here? Or did you find one somewhere? Where is it? Oh. Oh, we still can't go on the water, so I don't think there's... Yeah, we can't get that. Too bad. So sad. Bum, 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 bum. Sorry, I've kind of run out of things to say and I'm just humming with music now. I'm sure it's entertaining. Okay. Uh, there you are, fiend. Okay, if I attack him here, I still can't get really surrounded. We've only got one line of ships that can go, so bop! A mechanic in this game I still don't really understand really at all is flanking. I know like by positioning your units around units, you can do extra damage to them, but I'm not exactly sure how it works. Something I'm gonna have to look up eventually, probably. What are you doing, ship? You really think this is a smart play? Promotion! Uh, got any more episodes of Time Wizards or Unabridged in the future? Just a genuine curiosity. Uh, we definitely have Unabridged coming in the future. There's sort of a question mark on more Time Wizards. Just because Stefan is like the the sole animator for it and he is being pulled in a lot of different directions for a lot of different projects, including Unabridged. Uh, so we're not super sure on there being another episode of that. We would love to, like if the money and availability of it uh, changes, we would love to make more, but right now it's kind of a question mark.
finally got your little runt the other day and you love him. He's the best. He is very cute. Magic. Ooh, now that we're getting iron, actually, it might be smart to eventually get swordsman. You know what? I didn't really do any city planning for the cities we stole, so let's start with Fanfi. Fan Fanfi. Fan Fanfi. Uh da -da 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 -da. This song kicks so much ass, it's great and from Final Fantasy, but on Mario RPG. I loved this fight so much. Culex. Hold on, I need to look that up. Cause it's one of my favorite video game quotes of all time when he enters it's so good because like it's this thing where like the whole game has been you've been fighting goofy mario char characters and like even all of, like the strongest bosses just kind of look like goofy cartoon things and then hold on, let me pull it over here then freaking this guy oh, you can't really see him very well but this like final fantasy ass guy shows up and yeah, his his quote when he starts the fight is, I am matter, I am anti-matter, I can see your past, I can see your future, I consume time, and I will consume you. And it's just like this, what the, this is, where'd this come from? And it like just feels like an absolute tone shift, and it's so just like, and it's in this like little unassuming monster village, and there's like a little sealed away door. They have to go through the side quest to get the key for and everything. And it's just like, you're thinking it's going to be this goofy thing. And then, like, you walk into, like, this mirrored crazy crystal dimension. And this dude shows up. And he's just, like, spouting Final Fantasy shit at you. And it's so good. Another another great video game moment in Grant's mind. Uh... Not sure what I want to do in here. And I guess we can get an aqueduct eventually. Sure. Be fine. What kind of adjacency did this place have? Three? Not bad. Is that a shrine in there? The building does not look familiar to me. Cloud Kingdom was one of the coolest places. Yes, it was. A very, very good uh, kingdom in Mario RPG. Ooh, Machu Picchu, you say. to go there I honestly think I would like it better there because we could put more well we could put stuff around it here too I guess we could okay hold on if this is Machu let me turn you Theater Square, this into an entertainment thing. Or the entertainment thing here, and then this city. It's a water park. And this silly bit builds its own theater square up there. Hey, 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 boy. Look at that. That's some good culture right there. That's culture. Do you ever get, play a game on the Game Boy Color called Magi, Magi Nation? No, but I already really like that name. I, as a kid, always wanted to make the Imagi Nation. And then, you know, it would be a fun play on words that it's Imagination. 
It's a it's a country where your dreams come true. But I never made it. Because I was a lazy kid. Um, we'll rob ya. You will start heading over here so you can shoot stuff. And you'll come down there too. And I'll just have you stay here. hesitant to start pulling everyone out of up here to defend these other cities. Damn it, this is what I was afraid of. Hoisted! Another strong track, King uh, DDD. Almost called him King K. Rule! What a faux pas that would have been! Video game fans everywhere would have booed me off the internet. Wrong Nintendo King, they'd say. See, this plays during the racing minigame with, uh, with King DDD. Where him and, him and Kirby race. How many turns until we can rob it? One more. You got it. Credit card. You got it. <laughs> Will Home Alone 2 ever be the same with Trump being in it now? Can we do anything about that? Like, I mean, I know there was that goofball petition to get him out of there, and that's stupid. Don't do that. But, like... I don't know. I guess, I guess I've never really thought about it. But, like, Reagan was in movies. Like, we've had presidents who were actors, literally. I've just never really thought about, like, yeah, this movie features a person who later became president. They were not president when they were in this movie. Yeah, it was just a scene. Like, really, not even a scene. It's a line. He shows up literally to <laughs> just direct Kevin somewhere. Also... I mentioned earlier that I finished uh, Sopranos. One of the late, like in one of the last seasons, Tony's son is talking about like future aspirations, and one of he's like, "I'm gonna get my pilot's license. I'm gonna be a helicopter pilot, and I'm I'm gonna become Donald Trump's personal helicopter uh, like pilot guy." And this is you know back when he's just like I'm pretty sure just doing The Apprentice. So like you know it's not like he's doing it like as a because I'm politically aligned with Donald Trump but it's more just like this weird here's a celebrity that this character can like <laughs> it's just like now it has such a weird different context. The Lord it's more Lord just like divine. like it's not like I'm gonna be like ooh he's in this movie bleh like I don't I don't care that much but it's just one of those things where it's just like odd like I think about it I'm like no. Nah. Just historically, this is a weird event that occurred. <laughs> like, you know, we can also... What is it? I, I never really followed wrestling, but, like, he he got friggin' uh, a Stone Cold Stunner, right? Like, that happened to him, right? I think that's what they're called? I can't remember. Whatever Stone Cold's move is. He did that to him, didn't he? Like... How many, and is this like, and this is also maybe me being a little pessimistic. We're getting late into the night so I can be my cynical self a bit more. Uh, but like, I don't think this is gonna get better with time. <laughs> like our candidates are only gonna become more and more divisive with time and have more questionable histories. And more and more of them are gonna show up doing goofy shit on TV and stuff before they ever considered an office. Uh, and that's just gonna happen. <laughs> like that's just the reality of more people, like, especially, like, there's gonna be a YouTuber president, assuming America exists in the next, you know, 20 to 30 years. Uh, and, like, that's just, that's unavoidable, because now everyone creates content. Everyone has a Facebook, everyone has a Twitter or whatever. Like, well, you know, not literally everybody, but the vast majority 
of the world has been putting themselves on the internet. And like those people will someday have to run for office. And that stuff's gonna find them. And it's not gonna go away. But uh, I don't know. It, it's just funny to me that like that's kind of the, like, I mean, you know, I, I laugh because it's not a very funny situation, but you know, you find your joy, your joy where you can and stuff. And it's just like this thing where it's like, that's just weird because now that we live in a society where so much of what we do, and like, I'm not saying like, you know, the government, it's monitoring us against our, like, cause yeah, obviously that's happening. But the amount of stuff that we purposely just put out the publicly, like that's, that's shit that will follow you. And like, it's interesting to me because someday, you know, you're gonna wanna be doing something public and someone's just gonna be able to, all right. Grant Smith, YouTube. This guy says he's gonna be president. What's he gonna... Pokemon the Abridged series? I don't know if I can vote for a man who made this when he was 19. Like, we we just have an unprecedented amount of a no amount of knowledge uh, on our politicians, but at the same time so many clandestine meetings. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going. I'm rambling with this. It's late. I just called Japan boobs. Whatever. How smart could I be? Uh, but, you know, don't ever vote for me if I run for office. I don't think I'll be very good at it. And if I'm running, it's probably under duress. Because it's not a job I'd pick. <laughs> Way too complicated for me. Oh, we can make lumber mills now. Yay. Ooh. You've already got sorty boys, I see. Am I... No, I am considered an anti-cavalry unit. So if you are running for president, we need to call someone for help? Probably. of feudalism feudalism boys we feudalists now look at all this food we got mercs please uh yeah, really not I honestly have not been looking at my government very much lately this is good when we're at war, but now that we're kind of in the middle of a peacetime, I'm considering changing governments, which I never do. Like, don't you get some kind of penalty for doing that? Is that how the game used to work? getting more envoys would be pretty good. Better builders actually would probably be the best move here. You just have to pay to change. Well, I don't think you have to pay to change governments between civics, like civic tech things. So I'm pretty sure. I know changing policies you have to pay if you're, if you're doing it out of turn. You only get penalties for lower tier governments or switching to ones you've done before. Okay, see, that's kind of my fear, Jackie. Thank you for that. Because uh, I would definitely probably be switching back to oligarchy, assuming we don't have something else unlocked in time. Which I guess I could build two temples and just gun for the other. Also, man, Skull Kid theme, very good. Actually, I probably should have had the versus barbarians thing on. Oh well. Uh, would a builder be super helpful here? Maybe get this mine and a farm. Actually, no. Maybe clear that. Have we unlocked our unique building yet? I don't think we have. Does this tell me when I get it? No. Pretty sure that's something we get in the civics tree, not in the science tree, but I could be wrong. 
There it is. Mercantilism. So we're still a while away. I think how it works is uh, you get for having uh, the bonus you get for having a government a long time. Don't know exactly what happened to that. Oh yeah. I think they did get rid of that mechanic at some point. Do I want to wait for this to grow again? This guy's only... I wish there was an easier way to check their stats. But you have to pick a unit, it would be fighting. Plus five from barbarians that have died near me, so he's halfway maxed. Uh, it's going to take how many turns? Five? I guess we'll just sit here and heal. Wait, wait it out. And have these two archers ready to just shoot anything that pops out of there. Oh yeah, what are we gonna do with this city? This city kind of sucks. They clearly were aiming for a good uh, holy site adjacency, which isn't like bad, but doesn't really net me much. have a good campus there and another good campus here see that's kind of my problem is I definitely don't min max very well in this game whenever I see like ooh, that'd be a good combo here like this is not at all efficient you kind of want to pick one city that does this as far as like at least whenever I watch people who play this who are good uh, I feel like these are the moves they make and but I but I get a big part of my fun in this game is seeing these big cities be built. So I always want to do it. Let's make a lumber mill. I keep wanting to say lumber yard, but shipyard and lumber mills, not lumber yards and ship mills. Wait in the wings for when that guy needs to step back. And you guys can just trade off. Hey, we medieval boys going medieval on ya. The whole world is one big Me too. And we've now got. Gregor Mc Gregor McGregor? These are all real people, right? There was a Gregor McGregor? That's amazing. Uh, grants a promotion to a military unit and gold equal to 50% of the purchase cost of the unit. That's pretty good. Ah, uh, one of my favorite tracks. All right, we're going to grab Monumentality because that's, I feel like, the best one you can get if you've got any faith econ. Uh, we'll start learning mathematics. I'll finish up this turn, and then I think I'm going to call it tonight. Is this considered a... Well, we'll find out later. And there we go. That's the end of our turn. Well, everybody, thanks for hanging out. Glad to be back doing Civ. Um, I'll probably... I'll probably stream tomorrow? I'm not sure if I am uh, beholden to anything during the day. But if I stream tomorrow, it might be it might be more of this. It might be Tales of Graces. Uh, hey, it might be Risk of Rain or Pokemon Unite. Those are also games I've been playing a lot lately. Um, but otherwise... 
thank you, everybody, for hanging out. You've been beautiful. You've been great. I am thankful that you're here. And, uh, you know, hope I get to see you again and do some more stuff with you. Uh, thanks, everybody, who gave name suggestions. Actually, hold on. We have we did two cities, and we did not name them. So let me pull up that list. Did I have any left over? I had two left over, so perfect. All right. Papo Jan shall be... Y-A-A-P, that Dirt Dirt had recommended. He said it was an inside joke. I don't know it. But I'm gonna call it Yap. Yap. It's like it's like when you're saying Yas Queen, but you wanna be a little bit more casual. So you're like Yap Queen. Uh and Mar 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 shall become revenge uh, of the Sith. Ville. Which, you know, one of my favorite Star Wars movies, if I'm being honest. But quite a, quite a name for a city. Oh, it's three A's. My mistake. Sorry. I had it. Nope, I had it typed wrong. So that's on me. I mean, it would have been on me either way, but it's especially on me this time. But all right, there we go. That's our that's our fine uh, nation. We're conquering this country or this planet one continent at a time. We haven't even met our other neighbors. So we're going to have to eventually start expanding and really sailing out there to hopefully find some people. Hopefully we don't bump into what would be some bad neighbors to have in this game. Norway would be rough because they will have a navy to take us. Spain could probably do some real damage because they get a lot of bonuses for being on multiple continents. It's a Tamar who has a, the ability to buy ships with faith. I don't know, something like that. Anyways, I'm rambling now. Goodbye, everybody. You've been great. I'll see you next time. Don't believe my intro screen because I keep not making a new one, so it always says stream starting soon, but actually the screen stream's ending. So bye. <laughs>